Hi, I'm Rachel, and this video is going to show how to do short cross carry with a woven wrap. This carry works really well with a wrap that's one or two sizes smaller than your base size. This is a size 5 smitten wrap, um, which is one size smaller than my base size. So I'll start by finding the middle marker, and I'm going to go about foot off center, and that's where I'll start. I'm going to take this bit and bunch it up into a tube. And then I'm going to loop it behind me and hang it behind my back. With one hand, I'm going to bring my hand through the loop and anchor it about at the middle of my back. And with the other hand, I'm going to separate the top and bottom edges. So I'm going to find my top edge closest to my neck, make sure my bottom edge is uh, furthest from my neck, like out toward the outside of my shoulder. Same thing on this side. Locate my top edge. Actually, that one's flipped, so that's the bottom. And then with my hand in that loop, I can feel which part of the wrap I'm tugging on. So my top edge is closest to my neck. My bottom edge is toward the outside of my shoulder. And now I'm going to start by working with the long side first. And I find with this carry it really helps to kind of nail the tightness so that you don't have to adjust later. So I'll show you how to really nail it. Keeping one hand on that anchor point, pull the bottom edge tight. I'm going to make an X in the front, but I'm working with the long one first. Pull the bottom edge tight. Gather the wrap in that hand. And then I'm going to make an L. So if I put one thumb just above my belly button, I'm going to let this make a slight L here. Bring it across my hip, behind my back, and then through this anchor point. So straight through there. So this is going to have a V in the back with a straight line going through it. And I'll bring this back to the front and just pin it. And then same thing on the other side. Holding my anchor point in place, I'm going to tighten my bottom edge, gather the wrap into my hand, fold it like an L with my thumb about an inch above my belly button. And then I'll come over to this hip to tie off in a double knot. And once I've got that tied, I'm ready to pick up my baby. So once you have it tied, you take your two hands inside of the wrap like this, bring them together and push down. Now you can see that's where your baby will go. As you push down, you want to keep this anchor point low on the back. The lower is the back the lower. So I'm going to move this anchor point down. Then I'm going to reach in and bring the sides wide. All right, now I'm going to grab my baby. Come here, baby. I'll lift my baby up onto one shoulder. Take one hand through one side and bring her leg through that side. Then I'll lift her onto the other shoulder. Bring my other hand through this side. Guide her through that one. And then I will sit her. Hey, I'll sit her down on these two tubes of fabric. And I'll find the one that's underneath and spread that one out over her first. So this side is going to go from one knee to the other knee, and then up over her back. And then the other side is going to do the same thing from one knee to the other knee, and then across her back. And there we have short cross carry for the size five. If uh, they want to sleep or this fabric is in their way at all, you can always take the fabric away from your face, away from your neck, out over to the edge of your shoulder and cap the shoulder like that. It just keeps the fabric away from their face. 